SeaTech Incorporated Installation and Training Demonstration. Make certain to use the correct tubing cutter to cut SeaTech tubing. Other cutters or knives may cause the tubing to deform, therefore causing a leak. Maintenance of the tube cutter is essential. Either sharpen or replace the cutter's blades at least every 750 number of cuts. Do not misuse the tubing cutters by cutting other materials. It will cause the blade to nick, creating bad tubing cuts later. When cutting SeaTech tubing, make certain that you're making a clean, straight cut. Rough and angled cuts can create a burr on the tubing causing a potential leak. Prior to installation, wipe off any contamination on the outside of the tubing. Visually inspect the outside of the tubing, checking for any cuts, scrapes, or damage. The tubing should be clean and new looking. If tubing is damaged, simply cut away the damaged area until a clean surface is available. Because SeaTech fittings use an O-ring to make the seal, it is essential the outside of the tubing be clean and free of damage. A spray-on soap solution can be used to assist ease of installation. Measure insertion depth of fitting by using outside insertion depth guides molded on the outside of all SeaTech fittings. Hold the fitting collet in flush to the end of the fitting prior to installation of tubing. This will help correctly align the tubing into the fittings. Push the tubing completely into the fitting until the insertion depth mark lines up with the fitting end. You will feel a slight resistance as the tubing moves past the O-ring. To disconnect, simply hold both sides of the collet in flush to the fitting end and pull the tubing out. SeaTech fittings can be reused thousands of times. After 10 or more connections, the end of the tubing must be cut off due to tubing scoring caused by the fitting's stainless steel gripping teeth. The female threads on SeaTech fittings incorporate an exclusive cone seal, therefore no thread seal is required. Simply hand tighten the fitting nut onto its component. You will feel the cone seal compress as you tighten the fitting into place. Tighten the nut approximately 20 inch pounds to create a zero leak connection. The male threads on SeaTech fittings are National Pipe Thread NPT and do require pipe thread sealant. Teflon tape is preferred. Make certain to wrap the tape onto the thread in a clockwise direction. Because the male threads are NPT in design, a wrench must be used to tighten the fitting into place. Make note not to exceed 26 in pounds in torque. SeaTech tubing is rated for a maximum bend radius of eight times the outside diameter. If a tubing bend less than eight times the outside diameter is required, an external elbow clip or inline elbow must be used. If the bend radius is less than eight times, the tubing may kink or collapse. Then the damaged section of tubing must be cut away and repaired. When installing tubing, it is recommended that pipe clips be used. They can be stacked together and eliminate tubing movement, vibration, and chafing. If tubing is secured using cable ties or clamps, it's imperative not to over tighten them for it will crush the tubing and cause a potential leak. It is important not to install cable ties or clamps within six inches of a fitting connection. It can deform the tubing and cause a potential leak. Rough and sharp edges can score and damage the plastic tubing. It is recommended to use a grommet when routing tubing through all openings. Tubing needs to be supported with pipe clamps, cable ties, or clamps a minimum of every 32 inches. SeaTech offers accessory collet covers and clips to create a second connection step. Simply snap the clip or cover into place after the tubing is connected. To remove clips or covers, you may need a tool similar to a flathead screwdriver. SeaTech fittings will not accidentally disconnect. Collet clips and covers are offered as an accessory and are not mandatory. Pressure testing of the system after installation is required for a valid warranty. 
It's required that a minimum pressure of 40 pounds per square inch be used with a media of potable water, compressed air, or an approved antifreeze.